Hey, you. Yeah, you. It's car boot hunting time. Let's go. Oh, some Xbox games. Punisher was cool. So the first stall with games we see has some Xbox games, uh, one Xbox 360 title, nothing really worth picking up. But Amanda just gets a phone call from her brother and he's telling us there's some games at the other side of the boot sale. So we like running all over like crazy. There's someone up here who's got a Minecraft Lego set. Universe at War. It's a new one. Um, 30 quid. How much are your games, mate? Uh, depends which one you want. PlayStation 4 one? Uh, £10. Pounds. £10, pounds, okay. I keep seeing Fallout 4 at the boot sale, and he wants £10 for it. I keep seeing it for a tenner. I'm holding off. I'm going for the sweet spot of about a fiver, and then I'll probably grab it. Just on the other side of the stalls, they've got some 360 titles there. Nothing I really want to pick up. And on the floor, I think the best title there was Destiny. I'm not a massive Destiny fan. I didn't really ask how much they were. I wasn't going to pick them up because I probably wouldn't play them. So, yeah, I left those behind. Nothing there. Endless Ocean. I think I heard about that game. That one. That one there was the one. Good condition. I heard about this and I can't remember if it was good or not. Oh, he's got a Game Boy, is he? Oh god, he spent all his money on <laughs> I got two Game Boys. Whoa! <laughs> two Game Boys, three games for ten pounds. That's brilliant. Well done. So I weren't too sure if Endless Ocean was any good. I've heard good things about it. I'm sure I have. So I thought I'd grab it for a pound anyway. But then the kid come along and he's like, I've got some Game Boys. So he managed to get a couple of Game Boy Advances and a few games with some box. I think they were like a hard case for them. Um, and he paid a tenner. So I'm happy to see that. It's really good when you see the younger generation getting into retro games. And you see the genuine excitement on their face. It really makes you happy. Hiya. How much is your PlayStation, please? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Hello. My husband will just oh, okay. But someone's just, I don't know if they just bought it or not. Oh, right, okay. No, I don't think so. Did someone buy the PlayStation? It might have been my brother who was here. Oh. Somebody's interested in it. Yeah, it might have been my brother. Was it a big guy? Yeah. <laughs> How much are you after for it? Uh, tenner. Tenner, cool. Yeah. Is it all in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a different control. Uh, Three quid each. Yeah, it's missing the pad. Uh, couple of quid. Damn. It's not got the other pad, is it? Have you got the other pad anywhere? The normal one? This isn't the one. This is the uh, aftermarket one. Oh, I don't know. It must yeah. Have fell out. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's all right. Ten pound isn't a bad price, but it was missing the power lead and it was missing the main controller as well. My man had just been told over there, I think there was some Mega Drive games to look at. So I was like, yep, I'm getting down on that, so I'm sprinting across. Well, as fast as a fat man can run anyway. So I've gone over to have a look. I've got that there and I've got it. Singly, um, three quid. What about the toe jamming out? Just well tight. Yeah, but five Yeah, I've got mine's dead, isn't it? Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. How much are the systems? Well, that you can have for a fiver because I've got no leads. No leads. Oh, it does okay. work, but I've got no leads for it because I've got the leads for the others. And I've got no oh, wicked. PlayStation, PlayStation. I'll do the PlayStation, all the games. I've got a surfboard there and the game for it. 15 quid. With the, all the controllers as well. How much are the box games? Are they all different prices? All different prices really. Okay. It depends. Range from about four quid to eight quid. Okay. It's very cool to see some retro at the boot sale. Five pound for the Mars system is really good, but it's just, you know, buying all the wires and that. I wouldn't mind it. If it was a Mars system one, I would have jumped at it. But as it's one of the ones that runs off RF, I wasn't that bothered. Uh, it was a good price though. The Mega Drive stuff was more looking at for a friend. He collects all the Mega Drive stuff, but I didn't have the cash to just you know splash out and buy the lot just because they were like four to eight pound a game. I came back later and actually found a guy who bought it for 50 pound for the lot, which is okay, but I didn't have that money. Oh, 
Don't know if there's anything that we got that Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, Carnival, all poopy games. Hiya, is the Wii sold as a bundle? Yeah. It is. How much are you after? <laughs> I just don't know what to do. We, we put it as a bundle, but some, of the, some people have come along and bought the odd game this morning. Oh, right, yeah, okay. It's all in working order. We checked it out yesterday. But I don't know. So the lady wasn't sure on a price what to ask for it. Someone's gone through and cherry-picked all the best games already. So everything else that was there was trash. Nothing you'd ever want to play in a million years. There was four Wii remotes in there. They were all quite brown. They probably could have cleaned up. And I thought about getting it for trade. Maybe if she said 10 to £15, pound, I would have grabbed it. But she wanted 30 And that would have like blown my whole cash at one stall that I took with me to the boot sale that day. So yeah, I left that behind. Spotted this guy's stall and he had a lot of good stuff. I was a bit overwhelmed to be honest because there was so much good stuff there at decent prices that I took a bit of a while to sort through what I actually wanted. But let's have a look. How much are your games, please? They're all different. Yeah, they're all different. That's a laptop backpack. Ten pounds. Have you got any consoles today? No. Sorry. How much are the games like this one? Uh, that one's £6. Pound. How much is Theatre Rhythm? It's seven. It's a free control all of them. How much are you? £6 pound for that one. Um, £8 okay. for this one. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and Echo the Dolphin. Wicked. How much are you asking for Echo? One. No, that one. How much is that? Uh, £2. Pound. Case is coming with it. it. Doesn't surprise me given how old it is. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ten pound for that one. Doesn't want to shut again. There we go. <laughs> What's in there? Nothing. Oh, uh, that was. How much is that? Uh, Fiver. That. Uh, it depends which one you want. It's um, eight pounds for the set. Hmm? Oh yeah. How much are amiibos, please? Um, three pound each. She's cool. Got Rosalina as well. How much are these? Uh, four pound. They're both sets of. No, actually, they're slightly used, but those ones are new. Seven for those. We grab Echo and it's sort of seven, five, and three, seven. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. Will you do a different bundle? What's the best you can do for these three? Seven, five, and three. Twelve pounds? Yeah, go for it, man. Thank you. Been after that for a while. <laughs> I, I really loved it. I just got the. It's got quite a lot of DLC, break. isn't there, for it? That yeah, you can there get is a lot. If you like the other um, non Final Fantasy games, it's got a lot of style games on there. So as I said, this guy had some really cool stuff. There was so much there you could have picked up, but I was just grabbing stuff I really wanted. Uh, Final Fantasy Theatre Rhythm was £7. Echo the Dolphin, he wanted a fiver. And three quid for the Link Amiibo, which is great. All great prices. Said what's the best you can do, and he said he'd do 12. So basically, I got Link for free. So yeah, that was really good. Nice of him. Really good stall. Yeah, sort of. One, two, and three. Dragon Ball. That's not bad. I don't know Dragon Ball, but. Yeah, but I've got a digital copy of it, but. Man. They're the Asians, so I support But the English stuff, the £2.50 for yeah. the I'd actually probably give him a watch for that, just to see if I'll beat it. How much is your box set? Uh, £8 for Police Academy. £8, pound, okay. I do have a soft spot for Police Academy, but eight quid is it's probably a good price for the actual box set, but you know. I'm cheap, as I said. With Blu-rays, I really, I'm really cheap. So I only pick them up when they're a couple of quid. But yeah, I thought I'd ask anyway. But eight quid, not bad. 
spotted some PlayStation 3 titles in a the box. There's uh, Black Ops 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5. Thought about getting GTA 5 for trade fodder, but it was in pretty rough shape. The case was battered and the disc was quite scratched. So, yeah. I don't know what he would have asked for it, but it wasn't that great condition, so I left it behind. This is the weirdest way we've done this. Hi, how much are your games, please? Um, um, how much for the games? Two pounds each? Um, yeah, two pounds each for the... There's Manda. Oh, cool. The Lego games are awesome. Yeah, she's a massive fan. Yeah, well, I've got all of them the at other home. Jokes. <laughs> Yeah, brand new. Oh, right. I say brand new. It's, well, I mean, we set it up and then didn't use it, did we? It's not the latest one, but it's hard. How much are you asking for the. £25. £25, you've got that, that, that. That's, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I used it once and I just need to get on with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want the Lego game? I'm not sure. So the lady wanted £25 for the Wii with a Motion Plus and the Sports Resort bundle, which isn't too bad, I suppose. If you're really after one that's in mint condition, yeah, it's good. But these were actually sealed games, sealed um, Lego games. So they're not bad price for £2 each. I did ask if you'd... We weren't sure if we had them or not, basically. And we did say, would you take three quid for the two? But they wouldn't haggle on it, so they were just £2 each. And if we have got them already, it's a pain, and then we're stuck with them. So, yeah, we left those behind. Oh yeah, sorry, man. My brain is not working today. Absolute fail. Where's that, that in the Euro actually? Need for speed. Oh, hmm? Nice. Oh, it's just kind of a bit blue. That good? Yeah, we've got two quid. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So we looked at that stall because of the DS titles. Wasn't really anything worth picking up there, but Amanda did find the Fantastic Beasts uh, colouring book, so she grabbed that for £2. That was pretty good. So I didn't want to intrude on this lady. She's picking up an Xbox original, and she's got a box full of games there. She wants to get it for her nephew, I think it was. I couldn't really make out many of the titles, but I didn't want to get too close, you know. I was just leaving her to it. But she was haggling on the Xbox and that weird-looking bowl above. And I think she was there for a long time. She must have been there for about 30, 35 minutes. We came back a few times later and she was still haggling. And I think she got it for £45 in the end with the bowl. So I think she was happy with that. PlayStation. How much is your PlayStation, please? I'm looking for 20 for the whole lot of games. Okay. No worries. Thank you. £20 an all right price. The games weren't very good, but again, when I'm picking stuff up at boot sales and I'm seeing consoles, I want to pay pennies, basically, because you never know if they're going to work. And if I'm paying £20 at the boot sale, travel all the way home and find out it doesn't work, it's too much. Uh, if I can find them dirt cheap, and I mean dirt cheap, I'll grab them, but yeah, 20 is too much for me. Let's go ahead, I needed another one. Child friendly dartboard. Yes. Look at that. That would Ooh. be perfect. How much is your Transformers, please? It is missing the one disc. Oh, no. But only one oh. out of however many. Oh, I'm a completionist. One. I like it all. <laughs> one. Yeah, you put it somewhere and it's gone. No, it's what happens when you lend it to... Oh, that's it. <laughs> As you heard, it was missing one disc, so I'm a bit funny. I have to have every disc. There's no point buying a box set and then missing one disc. It's just going to make it painful and wish I had it. And the chances of finding a replacement disc are next to none. And I've said disc a million times, but I'm going to leave it in anyway. Yes, mm -hmm. one. Yes, one. I've got one. I don't really need another one. How much is your PlayStation One, please? Find me an offer on it. 
I'm rubbish at offers. <laughs> Last time we got one, it had the controller broken, so it was like, ah. Uh, Yeah, yeah, go on in. I was looking at the Wii Sports on the table, but it was hammered. It was in really bad condition. Spotted the PS1 on the floor. Wasn't too sure whether to pick it up because I was expecting her to say like 10, 15 quid. But she said three pound and yeah, I'm happy to pay three pound all day for PlayStations. Hi, uh, how much is your PlayStation, please? Yeah, about 20 pounds. 20 pounds, okay. I've seen quite a few today for 20 pounds. Really? Yeah, I've got PS1 for three quid, so that's not too bad. So that's another PlayStation Slim I've seen at the boot sale. They wanted £20 for it. Again, I'm not paying £20 for the systems, but if they are dirt cheap, I will pick them up. But yeah, for £20, I'll leave it. Oh, this one's Lynx. Lots of nice dogs. Lynx. There was one boxer which was quite lively, a bit like... WrestleMania. I'm not sure what Graham's got. How much is your Xbox? Uh, 20 quid including all the games. No worries. Xbox original bundle there, all common titles, nothing that stands out at all. I've got a friend that collects Xbox original, but um, I'm sure he's got all of those titles because they're very common. So I left that behind. But 20 quid, I'm sure someone would have picked it up. Twenty four oh, okay. Got a looper. It's a good film. Limitless. I was talking about it the other day. How much are your Blu-rays, please? Two pounds of Blu-ray isn't too bad, but I'm super cheap, so I'm willing to pay like a pound each, max. But there's some good titles there, but I thought I'd leave it in the video anyway, because you might have wanted to see it. And here's that lady from earlier who's haggling with the Xbox, finally buying it. So I think she got a good deal. She was happy with what she was paying. But she's going to have a killer walking that back because then things weigh a ton. So earlier in the video, it wasn't actually in the video because you couldn't really see much, so I left it out. Amanda saw a load of Harry Potter stuff that she was interested in. It's like a scarf and things like that and figures and all cool stuff. They wanted a tenner, but she had to think about it. Come back later, she managed to get it for £8. So she's got all this stuff on the floor for £8. Really good, and she's really happy with it. Okie dokie, episode over. That was Carboot Hunting episode 30, I think. Maybe wrong. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Now we're going to do the pickups. Right, okay, so we'll start with the guy with a cool stool. I don't know if this is any particular order. Particular order. So, I've got three things from him. I've got a Smash Brothers Link Amiibo, which will kind of focus, but probably won't. Uh, this was free, basically, because he wanted... What was it? Hang on, where were we at? It was five for five Echo, and, seven, and seven, and three... And then he did it basically the five and seven and chucked this in for free basically. So that's awesome. This figure goes for about 30 quid. This is mad. These are really hard to find now. So if you're looking for the, the Zelda Amiibos, you, you know, you're going to struggle to find them in the shops. Theatre Rhythm, I've been after for a while. Interested in playing that. It's basically Final Fantasy music, which is always good. And you get to play along and attack enemies sort of, you know, as you do the rhythm, it attacks the enemies and does stuff like that. Lovely condition. Been after that for a while, so... If, if there's a bit of noise in the background, that's Manda sorting through like 50 kilos of Lego. She's got so much. Um, the other thing is Echo the Dolphin, Mega CD. This is the first Mega CD game I've seen at a boot sale. And for a fiver, I thought that was a great price, so I couldn't turn that down. Only one bad bit is it's got a slight chip on the bottom. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd grab that. It's the first one I've seen. Might as well. And another game, Endless Ocean. I've heard good things about it. I think I've heard good things about it. I may be completely wrong. It may be absolute crap. But I thought I'd give it a go for a quid. Give it a go. Give it a chance. And discs in good condition. Case is lovely as well. So we grabbed that. Amanda got a colouring book of Fantastic Beasts. How much are these? About tenner? Is that what? No, about five. Is that all there are? Yeah, but I wanted that one. It's. Um, You've Harry got the Harry Potter one, one haven't you? You got the. Yeah, but they've got loads of them now. There's loads of them now. But these are pretty cool. They're basically adult colouring books, aren't they? Yeah. And everyone's, you know, well. children can do them as well, yeah, but, you know, adults are uh, getting into them. It says on the back 9.99 RRP, but 20, 20 quid? I was going to say, that was a lot of money. <laughs> Two quid. 
and it's something Harry Potter related. And not only is that Harry Potter related, oh, I'll go for the PlayStation first. Anyway, we got the PlayStation PS1. She wanted three quid. She goes, make me an offer. I would have probably have said a fiver, but she said three because I'm not very good at offers. And, you know, I'll take that all day. So, yeah, PlayStation 1. I opened it up to clean it. And it's got a mod chip inside. So it's chipped as well. So it plays backup games, which is mad. And I, what, Oh, yeah, you got that as well, didn't you? We didn't put that on the video, I don't think. No. I don't think I, I found it on the video. I, I can't remember. I was doing it. You were walking off, so it might, you might not have Burned it. off a backup anyway to try it. Because I was just like, what are these wires inside? It's definitely something different. Yeah, it's mod chip. And it's got the green official memory card, which is great. And the control. you've seen the controller. You see, you know what they look like. You've got the controller and all the wires. Tested it. It's perfect. Three quid. Bargain. And because it's modded... That's a bargain. This was the noise Manda was making. That's come across. And it's a Lego head for... The kid yeah. said... That was it. The kid goes, how much do you want for it? And she go, he goes, a quid. And he goes, actually, 150. So she goes, there you go. Have two pounds. So you gave him two quid for it, which is a bargain. And uh, yeah, it's good to keep all your Lego in. And it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It didn't come with a Lego. Obviously. didn't come with a Lego. Manda's put her own Lego in there. But yeah, the kid was like, one pound, 150. And she's like, take two quid. And then onto the Harry Potter stuff. I'm going to move that out of the way. She got... A Gryffindor scarf. This was for eight pound for the lot. Gryffindor scarf. We go through it. You know. That's one of the first scarfs made. I think. Is it's it? Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone, right? And then the Philosopher's Stone book. You don't need that, do you? You've got that already, haven't you? It's nice to have though. Mine's really old. And the magic nice. wand. Is it work? Oh. What sort of noise is that? I've never heard that in Harry Potter. <laughs> Expelliarmus. So it lights up, yeah. There you go. It's There's loads of stuff in here. There's some cool little Hogwarts books. You open up and there's a figure inside. There's a chest. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I haven't actually looked. How do you open it? I don't want to break any of this. Hey, pull that lever. It's going to jump up in my face, isn't it? Oh, there you go. I was expecting something to just shoot out in my face. Yeah, you pull the lever and it opens up. Is that what it is? And then you've got like the chess pieces from Battle Chess. Is that what it's called? Wizard chess. The wizard chess. Yeah, there's loads of there's loads of bits in here. There's basically a bag full. For eight quid, that's wicked, isn't it? That's pretty good. Yeah, well we wanted a tenner, but I'm just running out of room, so but then I thought yeah. about it and I was like, oh, I'll go for it. It is some cool stuff. Pounds. For eight quid. And is I that it? Got any of it though, so. She hasn't got any of it. So yeah, to see Harry Potter stuff at the at the but our boot, boot sales. We never see it. And Kieran always finds it and he brings it down and gives it to us yeah. and we just end up Let's paying see. him. He so he always hooks us up. And to find some for once and then turn it down would have been a bit bit backwards, wouldn't it? You couldn't have done that. His is <sighs> always a lot cheaper though, isn't it? His Kieran's like, stuff he finds like the best stuff and it's like twenty P. And then we get stuff and it's like eight quid. But you oh, know he's running out of room because he just brings so much now. Yeah, Kieran right. comes down and he'll be like Father Christmas of Harry Potter <laughs> and he'll bring a box like this and he'll drop it in the house. It's just overflowing like that with Harry Potter stuff he's got. Which is wicked, you know, he really sorts us out. But we all look out for each other. That's how you do it. You know, you find stuff that other people need. Harry, get out of the bag. But that's it. Oh, he's coming over. There he is. Come to say hello. So that's it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, no crying. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs up for Harry. If you leave a comment down below, I'll always reply. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in episode 31. If it ever appears. See you later. Bye. Say bye, Harry. Now he stops. Anything new? Section 8. Section 8, not heard of that before. Rocky, Sonic Heroes, Wii Party, Just Dance, Time Splitters, uh, same, same PS1 titles. Keep talking so we don't get copyright strike. Sonic Heroes, I think it's different. Uh, I think, no. Nothing good. There's a perfect Dark Zero steelbook though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, but I think I've got it. Plus, I don't think... I don't think I've got the steelbook though. WWE, WWE Legends of WrestleMania. No, nothing there that I need. Uh, Foo Fighters. Nothing there. Nah. A Mega Drive game in a charity shop. Hello, man. What? 
Nine ninety nine though. Sorry. It's good to see a Mega Drive game that's actually in a charity shop for once. But for nine ninety nine, I'm not paying that. Um, I don't think many people would pay it, so it's probably going to stay there. I think it's actually cheaper on eBay than it is in this shop. There was nothing else on the shelf worth picking up. But that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. There wasn't much else to add at the end. I thought there was a few more clips. But that turns out to be it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.